Again, in just a little bit, Sarah, when we hit those freezing temperatures, a lot of people start to think about those folks who don't have a home. As the night team's John Paul Barajas reports, local organizations and nonprofits hit the streets to try to get as many people as possible into shelters and out of the cold. It's another night of freezing cold temperatures, but this time even colder and still creating danger for an already vulnerable population, people who are experiencing homelessness. It has local agencies, nonprofits, and organizations racing against the clock to try and get people off the streets and into a warm, safe place to stay. Christian Assistance Ministries Director of Homeless Services, Valerie Salas, led the charge. That not one person is left out in this cold that, that wants to get out of the freezing weather. As cold as it's going to get tonight, it's going to be painful and threatening to, to their life. The way it works is they'll drive around San Antonio looking for any homeless encampments. And when they find one, they'll get out and check if there's somebody inside some of the tents. Then they'll ask them if they need a ride to the shelter, providing them transportation. But sometimes they do get a no. And if they get that answer, they'll bring them blankets, hand warmers, coats, towels, anything to try and get them through the night as warm as possible and safely. We were with them all day as they planned, packed up, and then hit the streets. No place was too hard or out of the way to get to and all of their work made easier tonight by a brand new app called the Winter Shelter Coalition, created by Life Restored Church pastor Alex Fleming because of the difficulties they faced during last year's February freeze. Consists of messaging amongst everybody involved, uh, the workers like Cub, the outreach workers, uh, other winter shelters, some um, spots available in real time. It shows beds available in real time, so there's a data entry person at every location. Even with things running more efficiently this time around some accepted the lift but the majority preferred to stay where they were it's super hard when that answer is no um, and you want it more than that person does but we're just going to love them until until they say yes Salas explained tonight there's a total of four shelters open each having about 20 to 40 beds it used to be double but COVID is forcing them to take added precautions if they fill all the shelters she says they'll start booking hotel rooms as a last resort. Give us the, the ability to get out there and get them where they need and get them where And Salas says they don't have exact numbers, but they believe through the help of all the organizations that were assisting tonight, they placed about 80 individuals at shelters, but helped tons more by providing things to keep them warm. And right now they're discussing whether or not they'll have shelters open and they'll decide that in the next 10 to 12 hours. John Paul Barajas, KSAT 12 News.